Welcome to another episode of Selling Power TV. I'm Jeb Blunt, the author of Sales EQ and CEO of Sales Gravy. And by the way, this is my dream because I've been wanting to host a Sales Gravy, I mean, excuse me, a Selling Power TV episode my whole life. I'm here with Gerhard Schwantner of Selling Power, a great hero that I can't say his last name in, on like with a camera on me because I'm so afraid I'm going to mess it up. So first of all, you are a master at mindset. And one of the things that, um, that you, we've had these conversations that you have dedicated your life to, it's you're passionate about it, is helping people gain emotional control, but also gain control of their minds so that they can live a better life. And I, I, the first question I have for you is, where did that come from? I mean, how did you, how did you get to the point where you are now that this is so important to you? And, and how have you iterated it over time so that, um, so that it's become more dialed in and you're helping more people? Well, I've interviewed a lot of uh, very smart people like yourself. And uh, some of them were, are billionaires. Uh, some of them had won gold medals or um, the heroes in sports or sports psychologists and uh, university professors. Uh, so after d doing hundreds and hundreds of interviews and publishing 16 books, um, I came to a point where I thought this got to be the secret that those uh, super successful people uh, are not sharing. There, there is a secret sauce somewhere and I want to find it. So I teamed up with uh, a lot of very, very smart people and decided the best way to learn is to teach. So I decided to teach how to develop the peak performance mindset. The essence of it is you imagine a triangle and the bottom of the triangle is what I call the mindset foundation. And uh, to the left of the triangle is the mindset growth. And to the right is the inner CEO. And those are the main components for building a mindset. The inner CEO makes decisions, and that's the prefrontal cortex, about your emotions, about your goals, about your vision, about why you're doing what you're doing. And uh, the foundation is all about uh, the, the core of your beliefs. And uh, again, there are three levels. There's the implanted mindset, there's the imprinted mindset and the inspired mindset. And implanted means those are the experiences you got during childhood uh, by uh, looking at your parents, look at uh, their behaviors, look at their values, look at their belief systems, and you integrate some of it. And some of it really is helpful and other parts, they're not helping you. And then there's the top of the pyramid, which is the inspired mindset that uh, everybody knows that we are here for a purpose. So people uh, think about that inner voice. Should I do this? Should I, you know, what is my destiny here? Walk us through where they begin. Like, how do they begin this journey? Like the first step in you reaching that, 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 that peak mindset, right? That, that place where they get in the zone and things start getting better for them. I remember being on a golf course in uh, Colorado with Chad Burmeister, and he was very frustrated with his uh, golf game. And he says, I've never shot a hole in one. I want to do it very badly, but I've always get in my way. So I thought maybe I can come up with something and improvise. And I say, well, I can teach you how to shoot a hole in one. And he says, how can you do that? I said, first, you calm your mind down because you're overkilling it. You are going beyond that par three. and." Uh, so you have a balance between what you visualize and your motor skills, the prefrontal cortex and the amygdala, and you stay in sync and you become the ball. And by calming yourself down and having that, that synchronization internally working for you, you're going to have a much better swing. And he tried it and he came with the, the first time like six inches in front of the hall. So when you ask people about their core beliefs or ask people, do you have a belief manifesto about yourself, about work, about success, about relationships, that's when you get the blank stares. But that is where the patron is. If you uncover your beliefs about yourselves, then you can change it. Let's talk about the real world, okay? So in the real world, 
I sit down for like five minutes and I'm trying to focus on like being mindful and creating my beliefs and, and thinking through like, what is it that, that I want? What are those beliefs? And I mean, my mind's going crazy. And, you know, then my phone blinks and there really is a new cat video and I dig cat videos and there's all these things happening around me. I've got my kids, I've got wife, I've got, um, you know, business. How do you recommend people like set themselves up for success, position themselves so that they, well, um, they can actually build that? You want to live in the now and not in the next. And the now is the present moment. So if you have... 100% awareness of the present moment and you know who you are and you embrace that moment and a moment is about three seconds So you can divide those three seconds into three parts You can say I devote one second to awareness So I know what's going on Secondly, I ask my myself the question. How can I improve that moment? How can I make this moment better? How can I be happier? How can I make somebody else happier? How can I solve a problem? And the third question you want to ask yourself, where's that moment leading me? And we can make a decision of where that next moment leads instantly. So when you think about how you structure each three second unit of your mind, then you learn how to focus better and not be all over the place. Some people say, well, I have negative thoughts. I just had a bad sales call and I really hate that customer now. I'm in, in a bad space and uh, I want to watch a movie. I want to watch that cat uh, video. And that is not dealing with reality. It's not dealing with uh, emotions. You put the emotions under the rug. So what you want to do is uh, do that exercise. Next time you have a distracting negative thought you imagine you are the owner of a guest house and a visitor comes in and instead of uh, fighting with the visitor, you assign the visitor to a chair, imaginary chair across the room and say, come on, thought, you're welcome here. Don't fight it. Sit down and tell me your story. And the thought will dissolve. It will go. And you don't need to fight. We use success a lot, and, and, and success is different for me than it is for you. I think every, every human being's got to find whether their purpose is, their passion, or what makes them happy. I mean, um, but whatever that is, then leveraging that and, and channeling that to, to, to become what makes you happy. How, how, do we, how do we make that next move? When you shift your mindset and say, I have the choice to fight a competitor, and then there are two choices. The competitor can be better than you or you can be better than the competitor. That's one way of performing and it's the hard way. The easier way is to look at yourself and say, let's take my best performance thus, thus far up until now and let's think about a way to perform better. So you make your own best performance the competition that's internally and you challenge yourself to get the best version of you out of you. That is excellent advice. Thank you, Gerhard. This is Jeb Blunt, the author of Sales EQ and the CEO of Sales Gravy, standing in for Gerhard on Selling Power TV. Thank you very much for the interview. Thank you for the opportunity. Mm -hmm.